Alright you guys, so I'm out yeah. here with Jerry, Chris, and Mark right here. So, I'm out here working on the KA, Jerry's working on his SR over there. He actually got started the other day. You guys can actually check that out on our Instagram, so, uh, yeah, it's at Southern Hooning, so go check us out. We have the video of it's like first startup basically, and it's pretty exciting. But, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to hook up this vacuum manifold right here this thing, this nice purple thing. What this does is basically just eliminates all the excess like vacuum lines and stuff and cleans up the engine bay and to where you have all your vacuum sources coming out of like one spot instead of just multiple places. So I'll be hooking that up and if that goes smoothly then I'll also hook up the power distributor block which is that thing which is my old one. It's all shitty and shit. So I have a newer one. It's inside the car and uh, yeah if the vacuum manifold goes smoothly right now then I'll start by, well, I'll end that by hooking up the power distributor block. So, yeah. All right, you guys, so I'm in the back part of the engine bay where the intake manifold is and where the brake booster is. So, how this works is these two big nipples right here, I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be putting, uh, be cutting the brake booster and it's going to be coming in this way and this way right here. And then that ties into all the other vacuum nipples right here, the smaller ones. So, Basically what I'm going to be doing is there's this flat piece on the back part of the firewall and it has two little bolt holes right here and I'm able to just bolt this down back here on the firewall and then run the brake booster through here and then hook up my other intake or vacuum lines to these little spots right here. So where I was thinking about placing it was probably right here. So I'll be back here. It's hard to see with all the harness and everything in the way. but. Yeah, I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to drill two holes so I can bolt this down and then I'll run all my vacuum lines to the vacuum manifold. And boom, the vacuum manifold's bolted up and ready to, I'm ready to start cutting the vacuum lines and the brake booster line and basically fitting it all on there. Alright you guys, so as you see we got the vacuum manifold basically hooked up. We got the brake booster going in right here and it goes at the other end and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook my fuel pressure regulator up to this one, I'm going to hook my boost gauge uh, vacuum line up to this one and I'm going to hook my boost controller to the third one right here. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Alright guys, so we just finished the whole vacuum manifold install. As you see, I got all my lines hooked up. I'm going to end up putting zip ties around them just so I have them clamped up all the way and everything like that. Because right now they have nothing, so when I end up going into boost, they might pop off or something like that. So just to secure that, just going to zip tie them. And yeah, that basically concludes the whole vacuum manifold install. Alright, so yeah, I'm basically going to just show you guys how to, how, how I did my power distributor block. So basically the block is basically just like a giant, it looks like a brass um, 
block of metal basically so so this whole cord right here goes to the positive terminal of the battery and it comes and basically you're able to distribute the power through like whatever you need hooked up that needs power so basically I got this nice little square one that should be in here somewhere I just toss it in here wherever the freak it went alright so this is what my new one looks like it's not all rounded looking like that one down there so I'm just going to end up swapping this out so everything that you see down there that's plugged up I'm just going to plug it into this so it's very self-explanatory it's just I'm going to bolt it somewhere else Alright you guys, so basically, I have my new one, which is right over there, right there, and I'm basically going to bolt it down right here on this flat part, but I can't fit a drill in there to actually drill the hole, so what I'm going to have to do is jack the car up and take the tire off right here, and then I will drill the holes from the opposite side, so that's what I'm about to do right now. Alright, so I got the distributor block all bolted down and everything. Now I just gotta plug my wires in and then tighten them down. Alright guys, so I got all my wires tightened up and set. So that's what it looks like. So I got my battery wire right here. Whatever the freak these two wires were that used to be hooked to the battery terminal when I had the battery up in front. And then I have this wire right here which goes to the starter I believe. So, yep. I got this power distributor block off Amazon. Basically, it's a two, two two gauge ports, and then it has like eight, eight gauge maybe. I forgot what the little ones were. I'm pretty sure they might be eight gauge, but eight eight gauge ports, and then two two gauge ports. But that's what it looks like all bolted up. All right, you guys. So that concludes this episode of Southern Hooning and working on the KA. So I got this all. all yes, Chris. I'm filming. Gosh, people these days. But yeah, we got the vacuum manifold all hooked up and then we also got the power distributor block all hooked up. So that's two more things checked off the list and when you gonna blow it up? I'm not trying to blow it up, Chris. Gosh. Alright. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. So please do like and subscribe, check out our social medias, uh comment on videos because we comment back and I guess we we'll love see you. you guys. And we'll see you on the next video, you guys. Peace out.